PlayStation 5 Pro is officially out in the wild. Wolverine's director leaves to join Microsoft and PS5 plates not working with PS5 Pros and there's no good reason for that. All that in today's video, but before we jump into all of that, if you guys could do me a huge favor, please hit that like button, subscribe to never miss a PlayStation update and share the video to help grow our community. Now let's talk about the PS5 Pros being out in the wild as now we've seen Jeff Keighley amongst other creators post that the PS5 Pro has arrived and they cannot show you what's inside the box, but they are able to show the box itself. So I expect that we're going to probably see more about this uh, coming this week or maybe even into next week where we're going to get unboxings amongst other things for this console, especially since it's coming out very, very soon here. Uh, I believe November 7th is the official release date for the PS5 Pro. And I'm not sure how many people will be jumping on this as far as this community goes. I personally will be buying one. I know that there are some people feeling that it's a little too expensive. And there are also some people who are actually quite happy with their PS5. So they're probably not going to look into getting this, but I definitely will follow up with you guys once I do get my own. And I'll definitely let you know what people are saying about this as well, as now we know for sure that they're out in the wild and people are going to be experiencing it and we'll be getting more opinions and more reviews uh, as far as how creators and reviewers are feeling about the platform. Now, next we're going to be talking about a pretty big one here. Wolverine's creative director has actually left Insomniac to join Microsoft. And this comes as a exclusive report from Gamefile written by Stefan Totillo. And I've highlighted a few things here that I think are of very big importance. Uh, Brian Horton, who was publicly named as the creative director of Sony Insomniac's upcoming Marvel's Wolverine PS5 game in 2021, has been off the project since the summer. Two sources familiar with the matter told Gamefile the game is now being helmed by a creative director, Marcus Smith, a rep for Sony Interactive Entertainment, has confirmed to Gamefile Mike Daly will serve as Wolverine's new game director, and Wolverine's previously announced game director, Cameron Christian, will remain at the studio in a different role Gamefile understands. So we're having a whole different setup here, right? It's also important to note that Smith and Daly previously worked on Rift Apart, so pretty substantial roles there on that project, and that project was quite good, at least in my opinion, and it reviewed pretty well. So uh, I think that they are definitely competent uh, in their roles, and I think they'll do a great job uh, developing Wolverine. As for Brian Horton, he has now moved over to Xbox, and he is in a creative director role making Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark, yes, the reboot, Perfect Dark for Xbox. And it's very interesting that this is happening. Now, if you guys remember a while back, Drew Murray actually left uh, the initiative from Xbox who was working on Perfect Dark and actually came back to Insomniac. So it's interesting to see that now that that has happened, we also have somebody going from Insomniac as a creative director on such a title like Wolverine and going over to work on Perfect Dark. Now, obviously there could be a number of reasons why this would happen, right? There is obviously money involved, obviously maybe creative interest as well to go over and work on this. But in most cases, I'm very inclined to believe that money was the big motivator here, right? You got a, a guy who's made some phenomenal games and Microsoft's looking to build talent and, and obtain talent. They might go over there and say, hey, look, we've got an opportunity for you. Or that person might have just been applying to jobs and landed a very good one that met all their needs, right? So these are all things to consider. I don't think this is necessarily like, a horrible thing. Wolverine's going to flop. Wolverine's not going to do well. I don't think that's what the situation is. I think that everything will be okay, but I do think it's important to note that, yeah, somebody in a creative director role over on, on a Wolverine game, which is due out anytime 2025, 2026 has left and is now working on uh, an Xbox game, which is obviously the big, the big thing here. A lot of people are going to view this and be like, Whoa, that's that's strange. You're leaving PlayStation to go work on an Xbox game. And it's like, it's really, it's not that shocking, right? Stuff like this does happen sometimes. So it's interesting that this did drop. And I definitely wanted to let you guys know about this. So I'll let you know as this story develops, if we hear anything else, I'm sure we will. But I think that there's um, nothing to be concerned about as far as the development of Wolverine goes. Now, lastly, I want to talk to you guys about this PlayStation 5 plates not working on the PS5 Pro. This is official confirmed information. IGN reached out to Sony about the PS5 plates not being compatible with the PS5 Pro. And Sony responded that PS5 console covers are not compatible with PS5 Pro. However, players will be able to swap out different console covers 
or PS5 Pro when they become available in the future, PlayStation representative said. And now you may think, well, why would you expect them to work? Well, it turns out they're the same size, except for where the pieces would connect to the PS5 Pro, they've just switched those out. So they've, they've kind of switched the teeth uh, markings that would lock in. And that in itself is the most anti-consumer shit that you can possibly do. Basically, you said, hey, we want to nickel and dime our customers. We're going to make you pay for these, these covers again. We, didn't, we couldn't be bothered to be kind enough that you purchased these already. They're the same size. They're, they should fit, but we're not going to uh, make it work intentionally. And I think that's the biggest problem here is that it's not that they were this different size. It's that they are the exact same size. They should theoretically fit, but the, the markings where it would lock in or the latches on them are, are just not fitting, right? They, they, they intentionally switch those so they wouldn't fit. And look, a lot of times people will complain about PlayStation and Sony's practices and I'll be like, eh, you know, maybe, maybe it doesn't make so much sense to be so upset about it. In this case, I'm feeling like this is very justified. People are right to be upset about this. I think it's kind of wild. I've never bought console covers before, nor do I have interest in buying console covers. But for people who go out there and purchase these things, how can you do that to your fan base? It's a situation where Sony is just clearly nickel and diming their customers. And look, you want to nickel and dime us on PlayStation Stars. You want to nickel and dime us on upgrades. You want to nickel and dime us on accessories, whatever it's going to be. You're going to nickel and dime us on, but don't do it for something that doesn't necessarily need it. In the case of, you know, face covers that, you know, should fit and, and you could have easily made this work, you decided not to do it. And I think that's the issue. And that's why a lot of people are going to have a problem with this, including me. I think that it's something they could have avoided. And it could have, it would have been nice if they didn't do that, right? It's just another bad PR move. It's just another thing that people are going to talk about in a negative light, especially on the eve of your mid-gen refresh, why on earth would you do that? It just seems so poorly placed and it it's disappointing. It's honestly just very, very disappointing. But that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Please let me know what you guys think of all this. Between the PS5 Pros going out, these console covers not fitting when they should. And obviously the biggest thing here, the creative director for Marvel's Wolverine leaving to work on Perfect Dark. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to never miss a PlayStation update and share our video to help grow this community. I thank you all for watching. Take care.